Good afternoon, Standard 9 students. Today I shall continue with the old man at the bridge from page number 49. Okay. The second last paragraph. I am without politics, he said. I am 70 year, 76 years old. I have come 12 kilometers now and I think now I can go no further. Now being an old man of 76 years old and then walking a distance of 12 kilometers. So you could imagine how tired and exhausted this old man was that he said I will not be able to go or walk any further. This is not a good place to stop. Now what the soldier meant, that this is not a safe place for you to remain. Because the forces have decided that they are going to bomb this area. So there will be a lot of firing and bombing. So it is actually not safe for him. I said, if you can make it, there are trucks up the road where it takes it fox for Totosa. So if you could try to cross the bridge, there are a lot of trucks that they branch off to Totosa. If you could manage to go, then it will be safe. You will be safe. I will wait a while, he said. And then I will go. Where do the trucks go? Towards Barcelona, I told him. I know no one in that direction, he said. But thank you very much. Thank you again very much. So when the soldier showed some concern, when the soldier spoke to this old man, the old man felt very nice. But first, when the soldier told him, this is not a safe place. So you must try to cross the bridge, catch a truck, and it will take you to Barcelona. Now, this is one of the tragedies of war. He says, go to Barcelona. What will I do there? I don't know anyone. So, like, this is the fate of the people. When they are made to evacuate, they are made to run for their lives, they have to start a new beginning, which may not be a very pleasant one. You, you will have to start from all over again. But the old man was very happy that the soldier had spent some time and he thanked him, not only to show him the way for his protection, but also he spent some time and spoke to this old man. He had a good conversation with the old man. So the old man was very grateful. So he thanked him for that reason, for having spent some time with him and speaking to him. He looked at me very blankly and tiredly, then said, having to share his worry with someone. So he wanted to share his problems, his difficulties, his worry with somebody. So he was very happy to share it with the soldier. But his main concern was the animals that he left behind. So he consoles himself by saying that the cat I know will take care of itself. Okay. There is no need to be unquiet about the cat. There is no need to worry about the cat. But the others, now what do you think about the others? So now what about the others, the goats and the pigeons? So what do you think? Will they be saved? Will they be, you know, will they escape the firing and bombing? Why? They'll probably come through it all right. You think so? 
So don't worry, they will take care of itself. When they have to face the situation, they will know how to react. Why not? I said, watching the bank where now there were no cards. So definitely they will take care of themselves. Everyone is, you know, fond of his own life. So in order to protect his own life, he will do his best to escape death. But what will they do under the artillery? When I was told to leave because of the artillery. So now when the bombing will take place, then what will happen to these animals? Because that is the reason why I was told to leave. It is not safe for me to be here because of the bombing. Now how will these animals escape the bombing? That was his concern. Did you leave the dove cage unlocked? I asked. Yes. Then they'll fly. Yes, certainly they'll fly. But the others. Now the others was actually, he was concerned about the goats. The birds will fly. The cat will take care of itself. Now what will the goats do? It's better not to think about the others, he said. So, he said, it is good that you don't worry about the goats. Now you have to leave them in the mercy of God. They'll be lucky to survive the bombing. Okay, leave them to the faith. If you are rested, I would go, I urged. Now the soldier also have to leave that area because it is not safe even for the soldier. So he says, if you are well, if you have regained your strength and if you are in the position to cross the bridge, because I also have to go. Get up and try to walk now. Thank you, he said, and got to his feet. He made an effort to stand. The old man made an effort to stand. Swayed from side to side. Means his legs were weak. So while he was standing up, he was swaying from side to side. And then sat down backwards in the dust. Now he was not in a position to, what do you call, stand properly. His legs were staggering. Okay, it was shaking. So it kept him unbalanced. So he was swaying and then finally he sat in the dust again. I was taking care of animals, he said dully, but no longer to me. I was only taking care of animals. Now what he meant was that he was so bothered and concerned about the animals, taking care of them, he neglected himself. So if he was unable to stand or if he is so weak now, he blamed himself that I was only concerned about taking care of the animals, but I failed to take care of my own self. I neglected myself. And this is the consequence of that. Okay. There was nothing to do about him. Now the soldier could not help him. Since he was too tired, too exhausted, unable to walk, too weak, he says now he will also have to leave the old man to the faith, to his faith in the mercy of God. Now if he survives the bombing, well and good, because the soldier also has to go and protect himself save himself from the enemies. So he had to leave him behind to his faith. Now like the old man has to leave the goats to their faith, to the mercy of God, and here the soldier had to leave the old man to the mercy of God. Now it was Easter Sunday and the Farses were advancing towards the Ebro. It was a grey overcast day 
with a low ceiling so the planes were not up now the fossil had actually decided to bomb on easter sunday because everyone would be busy with the festival they would not be aware of the enemies would attack them but through their good luck there was an overcast overcast means there were dark clouds in the low altitudes and the planes they have to fly low in order to drop the bombs to the to the target according to the target in which they have decided and they needed a clear weather because they have to fly above the clouds so they will not see where they go they will drop the bomb so they were very fortunate that on easter sunday there were no bombing it is considered as good luck and the good luck was due to the gray clouds or black clouds because when we talk about an overcast we are talking about thick black clouds that bring very heavy rain okay and that is the reason why the fasces were unable to fly their planes so in that way the people of san carlos and people living near the ebro river they were safe but and now the story ends with what will be the fate of the old man whether he would survive sitting near the bridge so that is why the story is named old man at the bridge okay so he is a symbol or a representative of all those people who are not involved in politics we are talking about the innocent people who are not indulged or involved in war how they lose their property how they lose their family members how they have to go to a new place to live a new life so this is what the author is trying to convey this message about that we shouldn't have any more wars okay so i hope you have enjoyed this story then i have already sent you some more question and answers please complete them okay thank you